stepped through a thick field of white plasma that encompassed, co encompassed a spheroid craft. As I turned to go inspect my, uh, the craft, my wife opened the door, and she ran out towards the front of the car, and she was yelling, Steve, no. She was instantaneously locked in place in a bright white field of plasma. As I looked at her, I thought to myself, it's okay, she's in stasis lock. That, that plasma enveloped her body with about six inches. I heard a female voice calmly state, felt like it was in my head, said she is in stasis lock. It was a confirmation. Thank you, Dr. Greer. Relieved that she was safe, I started approaching the craft for further inspection. The craft and the car, uh, the craft and the car uh, were nose to nose at a 90 degree formation. Uh, if you looked at it from a bird's eye view, it would be in an L shape, nose to nose. The craft was, uh, there was a plasma field emitting approximately 12 inches off of the craft inside this white plasma field. The craft seemed about Trump, uh, approximately 23 uh, feet long. I stepped forward with my left hand extended and slightly reaching out to it. The craft uh, responded to my movement. Uh, this startled me slightly, but I took it and stood still, uh, just in case. Uh, by moving back and pivoting the nose away from my hand like a cat or a boxer, and it felt like a cat to me. Uh, <sighs> Okay, sorry, lost my place. The exterior looked like uh, polished black onyx. As I approached the craft, I noticed ambient temperature, not hot or cold. Uh, I kind of leaned down and touched the craft, and as I swiped my hand up the craft's starboard side, uh, also towards the front of the craft, uh, it was as smooth as glass. However, when I drew my hand back towards me, it felt like shark skin or a cat's tongue. That was followed by a reaction. Um, the reaction followed my hand, and uh, as I... Oh, it, it's slightly off here. Uh, so I'm going to have to do this with my hands just to describe it for you. As you can see here in the, uh, the, the picture, I, I put my hand on the craft like this, and I kind of pushed my head forward. I can't do it here because of the mic but I wanted to swipe my hand up and look at it like I was planing a piece of wood. Uh, as I drew my hand back, that's when I felt that this, this strange texture. It felt like a tiger skin, or a, tiger, uh, a shark skin, or, or uh, like I said, uh, a cat's tongue. As I drew my hand back, uh, pixels jumped off the craft. Uh, they were like micro shavings. I would call it, they, they, they resembled graphene or magnetite shavings and uh, nano, nano sized particles. As I did that, and as I swiped up first, uh, I guess to get back to that, as I swiped up, the craft emitted a tiger stripe pattern up the, up the starboard side of the craft. As I drew my hand backwards, the pixels popped up. And as I did, the craft purred. It bellowed through my body. I could feel it resonate in my body cavity. And uh, it was very intense. I felt like I was in contact with a living creature. Yes, sir. Uh, the reaction, f uh, okay, I'm already done with this, thank you. As I, uh, as I drew my hand back, a lattice work opened up underneath. There was a very vibrant color, uh, colors coming out of the craft, the underskin. This was a very thin nano layer, and uh, there was a mesh work, honeycomb style, uh, and it was like a lattice work that was like a frame around this. And beneath that was, uh, well, there were filaments flowing. They looked like a neural network. Uh, I, I tried to see any, any, any uh, universal bus system or any computer systems as the analyst job that I had. I saw none of this. Uh, as I drew the hand closer to myself, uh, trying to peer through all these bright, wicked, beautiful lights that were pinks, blues, and every light color you could think of in the spectrum, uh, I wasn't able to see anything through it. So as I drew my hand this way, I kind of pressed off the vehicle. The vehicle was stable. I mean, this thing was locked in position. It's not like Star Wars when you jump off of something and it moves. This thing was solidly locked in place, solid. I seen a shape right here under my, through my elbow uh, as, I, as I leaned my face